so this is a patient who presented with inferior wall MI about three to four days back uh, but he still has ongoing chest pain with minimal exertion that is uh, on going to uh, even to the washroom he cannot go without uh, having some degree of chest pain he's already on full dose of uh, antiplatelets uh, nitrates beta blockers primetazidine and uh, even nicorandil uh, however he still has some pain and that chest discomfort is quite severe and is precipitated by minimal exertion so as you can see we did some wiring formed a small knuckle we straightened the knuckle to cross the lesion the lesion was about 90% here the rest of the artery is about 70 to 80% measuring the lesion is very important the wire length is about 30 millimeters and uh, hence uh, we can get a very accurate or uh, an estimate of the lesion length so it's a large it's a long lesion pre dilatation is very important in any case we're using the 2 by 12 mm balloon again we're using the 2 by 12 mm balloon for pre dilatation then we use the 2.5 by 12 mm balloon again some pre dilatation with it we're still measuring the length of the lesion we want that the stent should uh, the strategy is a two stent strategy because there's a lesion here the, the whole artery is uh, diffusely diseased artery but the tightest portion that we've pre dilated here needs to be uh, addressed and we want the stent to be placed somewhere here and uh, then we should be able to cross this tight portion and place our stent just beyond it the first stent we are able to position our stent it's a long stent about 3 by 48 millimeters we are able to we are able to cross this uh, tight portion uh, if this tight portion isn't crossed by the first stent then that could lead to a dissection here and that could lead to some complete heart block and that might complicate the plastic we are inflating the stent the stent inflation is at 10 atm pressure 10 atmospheric pressure which is the normal pressure we are inflating it again and as you can see the stent has fully expanded the first stent good uh, expansion has been seen then we are doing some pre dilatation with the stent balloon only and also it helps us to measure the what do you say the lesion so this is the stent balloon and we have also pre dilated the proximal segment with it so this is after the pre dilatation good stent overlap has been achieved at about 3 to 4 millimeters and as you can see the proximal portion is also uh, covered nicely so we have uh, inflated the stent in the proximal portion here what is very important after uh, this has been an overlap is to do some uh, is to you know just push the stent balloon inside and also you know post dilate with the stent balloon the overlapped segment here so it's very important all right then of course we are pre dilating it with a 3.5 mm balloon a non compliant balloon doing it again doing it some more so this is uh, where the tight portion starts and this is also where the overlap just above it is the overlap segment very important to you know do a good pull dilatation so this is the tight portion and this is the overlapped segment so we're doing it we're doing it good aggressive pull dilatation at uh, almost 18 ATM pressure of the 3.5 M non compliant balloon and we are doing it some more so good uh, what do you say pole dilatation of the overlapped segment and also the tightest portion has been done 
then we're moving upwards about 18 to 20 ATM pressure we're doing it some more you can see very very good uh, post dilatation has been achieved this is a 3.5 mm balloon market doing some still some more of post dilatation and uh, this is the final result as you can see wonderful wonderful artery uh, that has opened up let us show the first image and the final result good results so this was the artery originally not a very good artery as you can see very tight portion here there's a 90 percent lesion almost here and the rest is about 70 to 80 percent and uh, let us show the final result and this is the final result wonderful artery good flow patient is chest pain free and uh, is also being discharged uh, after about uh, 24 hours and uh, the good thing is that he does not have any pain uh, and uh, his class of angina has definitely reduced and I hope he continues showing such recovery in the future also uh, thank you Agra Heart Center